and action. This is Mike Adams, and I like to know where the justice is for our autistic children. Uh, I've been through living heck this week. I've been uh, bullied. I've been intimidated against. I've been harassed. I've been threatened with arrest, all trying to advocate for my son who has been abused in the Marion County Florida School District so bad that he suffered a compression fracture and PTSD. <coughs> and there's a huge government corruption and nobody wants to even help us go up against the system because Marion County has so much money with the horse industry that they can just basically do as they please and nobody cares or nobody even wants to help. This is wrong and I've been even paid lawyers to tell me that uh, I have no rights. My son deserved everything that I, he got. Everything's my fault. And this is just wrong. Totally wrong. It goes on all the way up to Betsy DeVos on the cover up and the corruption. And I got proof of everything, but yet nobody cares and nobody wants to help. What is wrong with this picture? All they care about is a Parkland shooting victims down here and their justice. Even Rick Scott doing an internal investigation of the corruption of the Parkland shooting victims. But yet I contact him of all the corruption going on with my issues to get totally ignored. Where's the justice here? It's 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 killing me. I, I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I've tried to fight it all I can, but I'm only fighting a losing battle because I'm by myself and no legal people want to help whatsoever. No, nobody at all wants to help us. Our son, our autistic son, and my family does not matter at all to nobody. This is totally disgraceful and totally unacceptable. And it, it, nobody can just imagine the heck I have been through. I have been, the, the police department has just totally, totally shut me down, took away my federal rights of advocating for my son, freedom of speech, uh, freedom to, of, of his educational decisions. The school district's not even giving my son an education. The Department of Education of the state of Florida says the only way the laws are going to be enforced is to sue because they don't even have authority to enforce the laws. And I can't get a lawyer to do that. <laughs> Talk about a sad, sad situation. And we're living in such horrible conditions. I can't even bathe. I got maggots and live maggots in my bathtub. Uh, the floor is about to collapse. The roof leaks. The uh, no heat. Electrical issues. The stairs are unsafe for my family and I, who are all disabled, but yet they don't want to provide the accommodations to fix it. They don't want to fix anything. They, they just everybody just seems to think the laws in the state of Florida and the federal government does not matter down here in Marion County. The Mary County commissioners do nothing. The Florida de Department, the Florida Health Department, come out here and flag the septic tanks because they've even got uh, the lids broke on them, and raw sewage is leaking on the ground. But yet, they give them 72 hours to fix it. They, the landlord does nothing, and federal department. Healthy or state health department doesn't even come back. So what's the use of even doing anything? Because there again, nobody cares. I filed grievances to have them swept under the carpet. I've contacted the state and the Marion County School District about filing a complaint with bullying to get swept under the carpet. I've got proof of it. Everybody has abused me. They throw me out like trash. They ask me if I'm even able to comprehend or am I as stupid as my son. That was from a principal, mind you, in a meeting that he called for. They uh, 
denied us rights to look at our son's educational records, another federal law violation. Then they put them in the mail without our authorization or knowledge and get them lost. There's more federal violations. He don't even follow the code of conduct for uh, suspension, but yet suspends my son anyway. Another federal IDA regulation that's been violated. They've taken away my right to advocate. They won't even, they ignore me now. Even the Federal Department of Education is ignoring me. They've taken away my right for, of freedom speak, of speech. They've taken away my right for a voice in my son's education decision. They've taken away my right to be a, a member of his educational team. All federal law violations, but yet nobody gives a rat's ass. This is totally wrong and totally unacceptable. And... It's tearing me apart. I'm bipolar, have severe depression issues, and don't handle stress really well. And it's really tearing up my disability too, costing me thousands of dollars in medical bills. And all I get is a run around. Yesterday, I went and talked to a lawyer to, to have him disrespect me, treat me badly, uh, tell me I have no rights, told me I was a liar, told me I was a piece of shit, told me that uh, I, I can't go after the school district, I can't go after the government because they have all the rights and my son deserved everything that he ha got and I deserve everything that I've got. Nobody ever deserves this much shit. Nobody ever deserves to go through this much hell. But yet it's happening. And nobody even wants to help me with the justice. You talk about wrong. And you talk about uh, America so great to live in. But yet, look at the hell we're going through. And our autistic children are going through. Because other parents and their children are being abused in Marion County also. Coming forward to, with me to with their stories. And all over the world, they're coming forward with me with their stories about government corruption and their autistic children being dis uh, mistreated and hurt and their, their rights as parents being mistreated and violated and they can't get any help either. This is a worldwide situation. All we care about it seems in this country is gun violence. Well, Excuse me, but the gun don't kill the person. It's a shooter. And they need to address the issues of the shooting, which is bullying, 99% of the time. And it shows with my son, too, that the school districts do not address the bullying issues whatsoever. They just sweep it under the carpet, expecting it to go away, causing the person who's been abused, including me, to really think about Retribution, because that's our only justice, because lawyers don't want to help you. They don't care. And the government, oh, they just break the laws and abuse you even more to hurt you and tear you apart. I've even thought about taking a ball bat and going to the guy's head because I've had enough. That would be justice. And maybe suicide by cop. But, you know, something's got to be done. Because nobody really gives a care about us or our artistic children all over the world. This is a world problem, people. Not just a local school district saying, oh, well, we got to take a stand and march to Washington to take away the guns. Well, taking away the guns ain't going to solve the problem. You have to address the underlying issues because even though he can't buy a gun because you take that right away, he'll find, he or she will find a gun one way or another because to solve the abuse and to get some retribution and some revenge for the hell that they've been through because 
I can totally relate myself. I'm gone. I'm going through the same hell and the same bullying and the same intimidation and can't get any help. And it eventually gets to you to a point to where you you have no other option. And as sad as it sounds, I sympathize with some of those shooters because yes, they. I'm sorry for the victims that they took out, but if they had had the issues dressed in the first place, those victims never would have suffered. Those families never would have suffered. The state has failed us once again. Imagine that. Rick Scott and his corruption. Remember the nursing home issue at the hurricane where he wipes the voicemails cl clean, protecting his butt. Corruption and cover up yet again. And then this man wants to run for our senator position? Please. Don't don't elect him, people. I live in Florida and we can't have this man in our office even having more power for corruption and cover up. And abusing parents' rights. Yeah, I may get hate mail or hate about uh, feeling sorry a little bit for the shooter, but I'm kind of in this place myself where the bullying has not been addressed and not provided any help and not getting any justice. So where do you turn? Think about it, people. Thank you and good night.